Some lamps were commercially developed by scientist and an American businessman Thomas Alva Edison. But records show that many scientists developed the bulb before him. Yet, Edison is considered as a father of electric bulb. Such lamps were widely used in the past and the filaments in it was made of tungsten. When electricity flows, the tungsten emits light, which also produces heat. So, they are called as incandescent lamp and they glow with the aid of heat. Tungsten metal are used as filament because they have many properties. Let's see what are they. It is high resistivity and can produce more heat and the intensity of light also increases. Tungsten has high melting point and does not melt quickly. In short, it has the ability to withstand even high temperatures. However, Tungsten melts and explodes when the heat generated is higher than the melting point. Next one is tungsten has high ductility. Metals can be stretched and turned into thin wires. Ductility is a unique property of a metal. Tungsten is having higher ductility and can be made into thin wires. Thinner the conductor, higher is the resistance. Higher the resistance, higher would be the temperature. What happens when the temperature rises? The incandescent lamp emits more light. Even at the red hot stage, the tungsten filament can withstand the heat and can emit white light. If air is present inside the bulb, the filament oxidizes with the oxygen in the air and they rupture. Therefore, the inner side of the bulb is evacuated to prevent the oxidization of filament to prolong their life. Similarly, to reduce the evaporation of filament, the vacuum inside the bulb is filled with an inert gas at a lower pressure. Inert gas is the 18th group in the periodic table. They act as the name implies, that is, they are lazy. That is why they do not undergo any chemical reaction with another or there is no change occurring in them. Therefore, if the inner side of the bulb is evacuated and filled with an inert gas, they will not undergo any damages and work long. However, nitrogen gas is now commonly used for this purpose. Do you know why nitrogen gas is used? This is because nitrogen behaves like an inert gas in normal temperature and pressure. So, a slight increase in temperature does not affect the expansion of nitrogen. Also, nitrogen is readily available in nature, which is another reason that it is used in a bulb. In the absence of air inside the bulb, this gas acts as a complete inert gas. We have learned about the incandescent lamp. So why not we use a nichrome in a bulb as a filament? Good question. And the answer should also be good. We know that nichrome and tungsten is having high resistivity and high melting point. However, nichrome has the ability to appear to be in a red hot state but does not have the ability to emit white light. But tungsten can last long in a red hot state and even emit white light. That is why nichrome filament is not used in a lamp and tungsten is used. Now, I am going to say something that almost everyone would have tried but are reluctant to do it again. Have you ever tried to replace or touch a filament bulb that has been used for a while? What was your experience? After working for a while, we feel that the bulb is warm when we touch it. That's why we immediately pull our hands back. It means more power is lost in the form of heat in a filament lamp. Since most of the power supplied in this way is lost as heat, the efficiency of the lamp would decrease. So, 
What are the disadvantages of a filament lamp? The electric energy is lost in the form of heat and low capacity. As we have learned about the filament lamp, it doesn't mean that they are the only lamps which is to be used. We will soon learn much more about the lamps and its specification. So, by the end of the session, we could understand what actually happens inside a bulb and how the light has been emitted. Hope that this will come into your mind when you switch on a light. Moon lecture delivery in the Chodi Trangle, eight to Kuranjil Sundamakuan, wouldn't then download you. Yen Claps, the learning app.